Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4, Part 61. It is time for the GT World Championship. And I've already gotten in the car I'm going to use, which is going to be this sex machine. Toyota GT1, which already has 525 miles on it because I bought it early on in the LP and I've just been screwing around with it. So, um... I pretty much bought everything I need for it already. I already got different compound, different compounds of tires, and I got nitrous, and that's all it's gonna need. I hope. So we're gonna go straight into it. I was planning on holding off on doing this for a while, but honestly, I need to drive race cars again. It's driving me nuts. So we're gonna do race car stuff finally. Also, hold up. Oh, there it is. I could have sworn Suzuka was in here somewhere, but... Yep. Here we go. First lap is at Tokyo for 10 laps. These are all, like, medium to long races. Not too long, but... Yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, this one looks a little bit more promising, and there's a 787V in here, which is something I would like to race against. So... Let's just go with this. Screw it. A spec points are a little bit higher. Well, here we go. Gran Turismo World Championship. What a start to it as well. Just wheel spin city. And that pretty much turned this into a rolling start level disadvantage. And no, I'm not turning traction control on, that's for cheaters. It uh, is in the lead too. I am starting to already lose it. This is what I get for restarting to get tougher competition, then I start screwing up myself. Still screwing up. But I'm not too concerned about it because the AI, I'm pretty sure they're running on super hard compound tires and I'm only on the hards. Which I think the hards have a shit ton more grip than the super hards. And you can get out of my way, sir, you moving roadblock, thank you. Oh my god, it always makes... Every time you touch the wall whenever your steering wheel's turned, it'll give you just enough grip to start swinging that direction. But now we gotta play catch up. Which I'm pretty sure we'll get back up to it. That Minolta is pulling away from everybody, no surprise there. 787B is getting held up by everyone. I think one of the cars was a V12 LMR, so we got like a three-way rivalry here, kind of. It's the GT1 versus the 787B from like GT3, like those two were rival cars, and the GT1 versus the V12 LMR, which is Le Mans Rivals, 1999. is pretty neat. So, just like that, already catch, um, we're catching up to the field. Stuttering more than usual today, for some reason. That was a little bit sloppy. Also, I forgot to mention this, but the way I'm going to be splitting up this championship is I'm going to do the first four races in part one, the second four races in part two, and then the final two races on the final part for this championship. So, yeah, that's how it's gonna go. Also, if I started off on the super hard compound tires, then I know my A spec points would be a lot higher. I guess it would be like in the 70s or 80s, maybe, but. 
This is only like, most of these races are either no pit stop or one pit stop races. This one's a no stop race, so that's why I went with hards. Next one's also going to be a no stop race with super hards. And then Hong Kong is going to be a one stop no matter what. So you gotta play a little bit of tire strategy in this championship, at least. But race cars are a hell of a lot easier to drive than stock cars, so... And considering I don't have any irrelevant stories to tell in this video. My driving might actually be decent for once. I say that when that happens. Slowly making my way up to the Minolta. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the Minolta actually has to pit in a lot of these races that aren't a oh, one-stop race. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be pitting on like lap 9 or 8. I guess we'll find out. But if that does happen, that means this whole championship just got a hell of a lot easier. Because he's just going to be handing me the win on a bunch of races. I hope that's not the case, though. I still haven't touched my nitrous yet. And I'd rather not need to. I gotta be careful with those rumble strips. If I'm full throttle going over them in a low gear, that's gonna kick out my, or that's gonna kick in the wheel spin. Not really gaining on him as of lately. His tires are probably warmed up by now and he's able to pull out a little bit faster laps. And that was a bad turn right there. I think I'm going to use the nitrous right here. Yeah. Huge boost right there. Look at that. Already up to 230. In no time. And up to a slipstream. That was like a two second gap I just cleared. I gotta be really careful with that curb. Ten out of ten throttle control for me. Yeah, I'm kind of struggling to keep up with him. Uh oh, don't hop the curbs. This is in GT3. Where the weird physics actually help you. Alright, 
a stamp in his slipstream. And we made it around the Minolta finally. Now we just gotta maintain this lead. Uh oh. I can't remember if the Minolta is a six speed or five. Because most uh, Group C cars are five speed. But something tells me it's a six. Oh, okay. He's got the handling advantage on me, it seems. That section is really tricky. Because I remember on the Super License, the uh, Arta and the Arta, the uh, Takata NSX kept spinning out on me on that second turn. I need to start doing this Andretti style hairpin a lot better. This is all 100% slipstream right here. Ooh, I imagine that was the final lap. There's still a three-way tie for third place, or a three-way battle between the the stuffs and the thing. The V12, the 787, and I forgot what the other one was. Oh, the R8. Tires are in the lime greens right now, which means they're doing pretty healthy so far. May have chosen the perfect compound for this race. The thing is, I don't know if I need to run this compound or super hards on the next one. But I think I'm gonna go with super hards. Or you know what? I'm going I'm just going to stick with the hards. Because even if my tires do start wearing down, up, oh, there he goes. I knew it. Well, these races just got a hell of a lot easier. And I'm not going to Oh shit. Well, good thing he did pit because that just happened. Then again, I was distracted by that. Anyway, like I was saying... Uh, I'll probably gain a lot more time with my hard compounds anyways. By the time like they start wearing down and I start losing time for it. I don't, I don't fucking know how to explain it. So let's uh, have a little look at this bump cam for a second. Pretty neat. Pretty skinny, too. Like, really skinny. That's enough of that. Let's see if any other cars decide to pit before the final lap. And I'm late on my brakes because I'm not paying attention. And looks like nobody else is going into the pits. All right. Bonk. 
bunk. My driving is suffering right now for no reason. This is just what normally happens. So much for my final lap being my best one. Oh, there goes a the McLaren. I'm hoping I get to drive it at least once in this game, but I don't know. There's kind of no good events with those kinds of cars, or with that class of cars. Besides one, the Dream Car Championship, but I'm already using a certain car for that, so... And there we go. Race number one complete. Complete cakewalk because the Minolta just handed me the win like that. And I'm surprised the R8 came in fourth. I figured the V12 LMR would beat it, but apparently not. So, there we go with that. I'm going to grab a replay real quick. Alright, so for the first race, we get 25,000 credits. Kind of meh, amount-wise, but it's whatever. Time for the second race. Alright, so next up, we got Motegi Speedway. So, we're going to do qualifying run and see where we end up. Alright, well... Even though I got the pole position, I can tell this is going to be pretty damn tough. Because that Minolta is fast around here. And I used my Nitrous in the qualifying run, so... Yeah. Gotta do this anyway, so let's just see where I end up. Also, this is going to be a little bit sloppy, pro or potentially. One, because I'm not an oval racer. Or egg racer, whatever shape this is. And... Two... The physics on this game are kind of different whenever it comes to oval tracks. Allow me to demonstrate. Okay, I almost made it, but I can pretty much drive on the apron and nothing will happen. The only other game I have oval experience with is NASCAR 2005, Chase for the Cup, and if you touch that apron, you go spinning out. So, I don't know. I don't know what the accurate thing that's supposed to happen is. But, uh, I'm already a tad bit concerned about my front tires. Huh. They are already in the greens. Maybe I did make a mistake. By going hards. I also gotta be really... generous with them. And not turn the steering wheel too much. Minolta's actually... staying steadily behind me. Touch the wall. I'm touching the wall. As long as my back tires don't go out, I probably won't pit. Also, what the hell just happened here? There goes everything. I think it's because, like, I can turn the wheel, or the wheels just as however much I feel like on a wheel. Whereas a controller, it limits your steering based on how fast you're going, so it's probably one of the factors I did not think about. Also, holy hell, that Minolta's fast now that his tires are warmed up. Oh shit. He's definitely gonna lose me. That's what I was talking about, by the way. Okay. This is going to be one hell of a battle all race. 
Also, he's... Wow. He's going way to the inside. We're just going to be trading positions every time. Also, my wheel's going to be shaking at high speeds. Because it tends to do that. Okay, bud. Ouch. I guess I'm going to push you along. I'll use you to my advantage. Thank you very much. Wow, he has so much more grip compared to me. I think it's because he has a ton, or a lot more downforce, too. Hello, McLaren. I shall use your... Your suck. Grassy ass. Well, my front tires aren't in the yellow yet, or even the lime, so... That's good so far. He actually just fell pretty far back behind for some reason. Either I was a lot faster that time, or he was a lot slower. Obviously. Durka her. I guess I don't need my brakes for this turn after all. Okay, maybe I do. Haven't touched the nitrous yet, so that's good. I can see my front tires going into the limes now. And lime is pretty much the halfway point, so... As far as tire wear goes. So I might have just gotten this absolutely perfect. Cat's being super loud right now for no reason. It tends to do that. Uh oh. That's a little bit sketchy every time. I can hear the Minolta behind me again. The AI are pretty, like, surprisingly good at this track. Compared to others, at least. And they're also really good at rally. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's gonna happen. God damn it. Talk about a buzzkill. There goes McLaren. Melta's leaving the pits right now. Hi.
Also, the 787 is catching up to me. I don't know if I'm slacking now that the Minolta is not chasing me or what, but yeah. Oh wait, the Minolta pulled in front of it. And something is catching up to the Minolta, the 787, because Minolta's tires are cold right now, so that would explain it. So they're probably going to be trading positions a lot. Like right now, the Minolta's passing the 787. Probably can't tell on YouTube, but I can see it. And it looks like I made the absolute perfect tire choice for this race. I'd probably be in like fourth place or third place because there's one car that's way far behind for some reason and I don't know what it is. That might be the Audi. Because whatever's behind me in that group is an open cockpit Car, or cockpit car. Oh, there goes something else. What's it gonna be? 787. So, both Group C cars in this championship are gonna be doing that. Nice. All right, well, final lap. Driving in a circle for one final time. And I'm just gonna use a nitrous on this outlap, fuck it. This is not an outlap. Nice vocabulary. Anyways. There we have it. Race number two complete. The R8 is the one who beat the LMR. So this is going to be a very scrambled championship, that's for sure. But I'm not about to handicap myself and increase the ballast weight and put on super hards, except maybe. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. There we go for 25,000 credits once again. Bada boop. Time for race number three at my least favorite track of all time. This one is probably going to be the hardest out of the entire championship. So I'm going to practice, get closer up, and then, yeah. Worst track ever, worst track ever, worst track ever, worst track ever. I hate this place. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But I gotta drive it. And I gotta feel this pain. Ugh. Let's just get this over with, I guess. So, my strap for this one, start off on the hards. Pit around lap 12 or some shit. Get thrown off because of the PCSX2 slowdowns and then start in 6th place anyways. Or 5th. And just suffer. Low speeds, unlike most places on this track. It's just gonna be a wheel spin city. Just like that. I would stay in third gear, but it kind of bogs down the engine too much and I don't get any power in low RPM.
Man, this is so difficult. This track is not made for these cars. At all. But I guess Polyphony was weird with our like whole world championship thing. We have to go all the way around the world now, guys. We have to go to Hong Kong. Or else it's not a world championship. Ugh. This is torture. This is torture. Not first gear. I'm actually going to stay in third. Oh, okay. Just get wheel spin anyways, because I touched the rumble strip. Like that. This thing does not like to turn in at all. Oh, God. Understeer like crazy. Eh, stop touching that shit. I hate that corner. I hate it so much. I hate everything about this track. Even though I've said it 20 times already. And it's only lap 3. God damn it. I don't know if the AI are just gods at this track or if I'm just garbage. Good thing I'm switching to mediums after I pit. God damn. And there I go into the wall. That was a weird shift. The McLaren is almost on my ass. That's how bad I'm doing right now. I hate this corner so much. Me. I hate this one too. And this. Oh, nice bump in the road. Thank you. Just turn traction control. No. I'm not fucking tired of getting old. Wanker. Twenty seconds behind the Minolta now. I'm gonna finish this race in fifth place. Officially. Also, stay in third gear. There we go, no wheel spin. Although my acceleration was terrible. Wait till I'm off the... strip. Uh, I hate this! Me! Mm. This thing hates low speeds! I need speed! Turned in too early. Why do I always do that? Uh, well, there we go. I was barely accelerating and I still wheel spin. Christ. Is this road made out of fucking oil or some shit? Oh my god. Who put lotion on the roads? My tires made out of Vaseline? The world may never know. Oh my god. I hate this. I hate everything about it. Drinking game. Take a shot every time I mention how much my or how much I hate this map. 
And then take another shot for every time I stutter. And these slowdowns aren't helping. Jesus Christ. The McLaren is on my ass. Alright, that's it. I'm doing this for a while. I've had enough. Let's see what kind of damage I can do now. It's these weird curbs. You can't even take advantage of them. At all. And that's what screws you over. Still terrible at this turn. Let's try to get this turn right for once in my goddamn miserable life. That can't be the way you do it. No human on Earth would ever make a turn that miserable and slow. Bonk. And there we go. That fucking turn kills me every time. Hello, how you do? I swear to God, if I get last place in this race... I might have to come back here and win this in the fucking Formula One car or some shit. Jesus Christ. Or just keep restarting until there's no group C or prototype. Forty five seconds behind now. Christ. No, motherfucker, don't do it. Back tires are getting a tad loose. Oh wait, they happened the whole race. What the fuck am I saying? Oh, nice. See, I can't even fucking use that curb because then that happens. Oh, I'm really not in a good mood right now. This track it just brings out the worst in me. Nice curb, motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit, I did that decent for once, but it's still painfully, agonizingly slow. Stop slowing down, emulator! Oh my god, bumps in the road, nice. They just love to torture people that don't use traction control, do they? Oh, nice. Cool. I don't care. I've stopped giving a shit. If I'm gonna have to race this fucking piece of shit track, then I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I feel like.
I might have to go hard hard instead of hard medium. As far as tires go. And that Minolta still hasn't pitted yet, surprisingly. So he'll only be doing a one-stop race as well. There he goes. Finally. Bonk. Another stupid bump in the road make me wheel spin whenever I didn't need to. I swear to God, if the medium compound tires do not fix most of this, I'm going to freaking re. You freaking freaker. I'd rather be on Saku Sakuya, yes. Su Suzuka. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Looks like this is my final lap on these tires. Uh, I probably should have pitted, actually. Oh, shit. I definitely should have pitted. Uh-oh. No more fucking around. That was probably the best I've taken this section of the whole game. Uh, and there we go. Oh my god! Wheel spin! I'm always late on the brakes for this turn. I'm paying too much attention to the gear indicator. It's so freaking late on this track. It's just, ah! It's late there too. Get me off these goddamn tires. Some bitch. I don't need fuel, fuck that. God damn. This is giving me a migraine. Take that shit off. Give me this good good. I would like some grip, please. Thank you. So I just gotta get them warmed up. Not like that. Not like that either. Mm, 
almost kissed the wall there. Bonk. All right, 57 behind the Minolta right now. Let's see how much that grows. And it's also bullshit that this race is 18 laps. Still wheel spinning, that's awesome. Actually gained a little bit of time on him. I can't believe it. Too bad it doesn't mean shit. Bonk. Thank fuck there's no Hong Kong Enduro on this game because I would probably kill myself. Figuratively. Obviously. I think I'm just gonna end the video after this race is over. Cause like four, four, and two is kind of a weird split. I think three, three, and four would be better. So that's what I'm gonna do. That and because this race has kind of destroyed my mood because uh, you know why. And I'd rather start the next video fresh or the next race fresh, I should, I should say. So, uh, yeah. Besides, I got, like, a migraine. I'm not exactly in the mood to do another race. So, yeah. Oh shit. Almost a full minute behind, and I'm definitely going to be a full minute behind by the next checkpoint. Called it. Called it. Called it. Called it, called it, called it. Two more laps at this wretched place. Bonk, bonk. I am a failure. I can't wait till this is over. I really can't. Oh. Bonk. 
Bonk. And here we go. Final lap at this piece of shit track. Get me out of here. Eh, fuck it. What a way to end it off. Well, everyone else has crossed the line. All I gotta do is get across the line and then I'll be out of here. Get me off this track. Okay, yeah, I'll just... Let me just spin out first so I gotta stay here for an extra 15 seconds. Mm, frick this place. Oh my god, what the fuck am I doing? Go, 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 go. Fuck you. I hate this place. I don't care. Fuck you. Ugh. How long did that fucking race take? I didn't even pay attention to that. That was so insanely painful. So, on that terrible disappointment... Stay tuned for the next part of the GT World Championship.